Hi everyone, Godfather Pepper, and I've got a propane tank here. I'm going to build a biochar oven or kiln for uh, producing biochar. I don't know if you're familiar with what it is, but it's a uh, basically you take your limbs and pieces of wood and and uh, turn them into charcoal, then break them up and uh, inoculate them, and they. Uh, are supposed to be just exceptional for the garden so I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see what happens what I've got here is an old uh, propane tank that has been open for years so I'm not worried about uh, an explosion but we're gonna purge it anyway just because it's uh, the safe thing to do uh, if you ever do work with propane tanks the best way to get all the propane out is simply to fill them with water and then uh, empty them. Now there's a couple ways of doing it. You can use an angle grinder like this or a 120 uh, volt plug-in one or if you're lucky enough to have a either a uh, propane excuse me either a, uh, a cutting torch or a plasma that's what I'm using on it today. It's real simple. I'm almost done. Okay there it is. I'm ready to uh, fit a cap to it and put it in my burn barrel. Let's see if I can't make a, a batch of uh, biochar. Okay, here it is, ready to go. I've got uh, an old burn barrel which I'm going to test out. There's my other barrel. I've got to throw a lid on it. And then here's the top lid and a little chimney I'm going to try out. And just play with till I can get the right draft. Okay, there it is with the uh, steel plates. And this is not, this is supposed to gas off, so you don't want them airtight. And uh, you want it to be able to vent fairly easily. So we're going to light it and see if we can't make a batch of uh, biochar. Here's the uh, first batch, test batch. Let's see what happens. The wind's picking up a little bit, which won't hurt, but it's awful dry. Got a nice buffer zone. Okay, I pulled the top off to reload it because this pine burns very hot and very fast. And it looks like we've kind of reached critical mass here. You can see that crack and all of the gas that's coming off of the uh, wood inside. That's not from the wood in, in the deal. They're, the wood inside the uh, outer drum is almost gone. So we are burning off all of the, you can see it here on the side as well. So we are just burning off all the gas from the wood. Okay, I sealed it back up and you can see all that gas coming off the end. Looks like a burner on a stove. That's not coming. None of this is coming from inside the barrel. This is all coming from the wood inside. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know how long to leave it. I'm going to wait till it quits gassing off. But I did put the lid back on so it wouldn't continue to burn to deprive it of oxygen once it's through gassing. So I'm going to leave it and come back and we'll see, uh, what it looks like in a, a couple hours. Okay, check this out. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at this. It's exactly, it's light, it almost tinkles. It's hot, but uh, watch this. You can hear it. It's Can you hear that? It's got a ceramic sound to it almost. It has a note. So that looks to be like a perfect first batch of biochar. Considering you only use 5 to 10 percent in your garden, I have uh, 6 or 8 
cycles of this will probably give me enough for everything I'm going to do. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't get spring fever yet. We still have some winter left. Until next time, take care and God bless.